Okay, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about sleeve cap height adjustment which is here. The height of your sleeve cap determines how your sleeve hangs. So I'm just going to basically fold this in roughly the shape it would be if it was sewn. Imagine this is your shirt or your bodice. Now at the full cap height, in my case is about six inches, your sleeve might be hanging at this direction. So if you sew a shirt, it's hanging down, maybe about this angle, at this angle with your hand naturally down, and that's okay. If we reduce this cap, if we want the sleeve to face up, 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 even to up to here, we are going to simply reduce this by increments. So now, I want to explain the proper way of reducing it. It isn't a matter of shortening it here. I'm not just going to take a line at my sleeve cap. I'm not going to just take this line at my sleeve cap and redraw another armhole. No. You have to adjust it in a way that you are accounting for your hand going up and down. Okay? Why am I saying this? If you just adjust it this way, what's going to happen? you're going to end up cutting some of your sleeve off. You see what I did there? I have lost the whole five inches of my sleeve. And that's what we want. We want instead to take this line and move it upwards to shorten it. Whether I'm moving it here or here or here or here, it doesn't matter. But we're actually just moving this entire line, which means here is going to get longer. So in the end, the most important thing to note is that you're going to maintain your length. Right now I'm using a full length where shoulder to wrist. Even if it was shoulder to elbow, it doesn't matter. You first determine the length of your sleeve and then we now adjust the cap. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so what I did now, I just traced my sleeve up to the elbow level because what we're worried about is here. It doesn't matter what height you want. For instance, I can just move it to any of this heights. I could go higher, higher, maybe increments of one inch or half inch, any of these levels. Maybe at the least amount, maybe I'll say one inch or maybe two cm for the shortest one, but different levels. So for this demonstration, maybe I want to go about here. Let's say I want to go about here because I want my sleeve maybe I want my sleeve to be really high up so that I can easily raise my hand like in a very if your dress is very fitted here and the sleeve cap is already up like this you'll be able to lift your hands up and down without pulling on the dress or like a dress shirt for a man shirt so let's say I wanted my sleeve to be this high up I'll go maybe almost to the top somewhere about here Okay, let's see. Let's go about this this much. So first of all, I'm going to decide that that is my new cap line. So this line is now here. Once again, we do not want to interfere with the length of the sleeve. So I now have to draw a new cap. So all I need is this measurement. So what you're going to do, I'm going to go a little longer than I need like so and I'll take my sleeve I'm simply going to take this and pivot till I get here and then I'll take my sleeve this is just a quick dirty method pivot till I get here or you can measure i can measure from here to here and do something similar like that and i can measure from here to here and do something similar so that same thing so the important thing is i have created a new sleeve cap i'm now going to join these points to my original head 
I'm still maintaining the back being slightly longer than the front. Like so. So we have that. And then we connect back to our original wrist, like so. Back to original wrist. And now I'm just going to put in my curve for the front, roughly halfway for the back, about two thirds here. What does this mean? Now I'm just going to use my curve ruler and figure out a good curve shape. Like so. Yeah. here that's there and here I'll continue like so so that is my new sleeve cap So that's my new sleeve cap. So what I want you to note is that this side opened up while we still maintain this side. So I'm gonna cut this out. Now I'm just gonna trim the sleeve. to the middle. So my sleeve has been trimmed. So this is your new sleeve. So you can see it is still a sleeve but the cap is very small. You see, it's the same. It's the same length, but the same length. Well, the cup here is very shallow, and here is very deep. So this, your hand has to stay in a downward position, like in a suit or a formal suit. And this, your hand can be can go up and down very easily without dragging your dress. So it's still the same thing. That was manipulating the sleeve already out. You can draft it straight like this. You can basically take your ruler and determine so I can just decide now remember I know my sleeve cap measure if my sleeve cap was say six inches I can decide oh I want to go half and make this three inches because I want my sleeve to be at an angle once again I know if it's this is how it naturally would be if I want maybe about halfway not all the way up Itself a six inch cap. This is six inches. I can do about halfway. So I now put in a three inch cap. So the same thing as I did in drafting the sleeve. I would now measure the armhole of my front and my back and I would use it. This would be the front, this would be the back. So depending on whatever I measured, 
plus ease and all that, just like drafting a normal sleeve, I will simply put that in here. So if I draft it, I'm drafting this for my back or maybe for the front. I have about this for the front. I have now established it at the base of my sleeve. I can put in whatever measurements I have measured for my sleeve. This could be a wide sleeve, it could be straight sleeve, whatever. I've measured it and I put it in. And once again, I would just construct my sleeve as is, just like any other sleeve. So you can just draft it straight. All you have to do, like drafting any normal basic sleeve, instead of using the full cap height, you adjust the height to your taste and you can now put in the curve of your sleeve head and your sleeve is drafted. So that is how you adjust your sleeve cap. So remember, the important thing is we are not touching the full length of your sleeve. We are only opening the sides. So the sides can end up going here, 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 and end up going up or down and it gets wider at the bicep line. So I hope this was interesting for you and fun for you. Try it, sew it, and see how it feels and you really understand the difference. So thank you for watching and remember to visit the website for more details. Bye.